So apologies because I've been pumping Oppenheimer for a while, but swear to God, I was just about to go to bed and they released the trailer. There you go. Silly me. So I will concentrate on the aesthetics, but I do know a lot about the history of this time period. So I will do an, very soon uh, a video on that. Some people may not like me getting into the politics, but I will get into that. Uh, and I don't think it will spoil the story. Was this a very strong trailer? Yes. And I was actually shocked how good it looked. Not that the other trailers were bad, but this one really looked astonishing. So, as always, Nolan is really, really paying a lot of attention to just detail and just how this will look visually. So, visually, it was very stunning. Almost everything looked very sharp, crisp. You could just see the actors' faces so sharply, the objects. So, visually, this is a very, very engaging trailer. In terms of criticism, it does look like a really great epic film from the trailer, at least two-thirds. But it did strike me as a little bit too conventional. Matt Damon is playing Leslie Grove. I have no idea who that is. So, Leslie and Robert are going back and forth. Oppenheimer and him just, I don't know, their back and forth just seemed very conventional like okay Oppenheimer's a calm arrogant guy and of course Leslie's presenting the army and he's like we got to get this done now the Nazis are they're right at the border man we got to like get it done get it get it done can you guarantee me the bombo and he's like yes uh, and it's not going to kill us right well maybe i get it we have to get the normal normie audience so you know they got to make it dramatically engaging I guess and I'm not an Oppenheimer expert but I have boned up on the biography this doesn't match up completely from what I understand I mean again Oppenheimer is very intense he did have his outbursts but I don't know this is perhaps making it a little bit more exciting than the actual process it was definitely a very intriguing build-up to getting the bomb built and gathering these scientists. So that part rang true, but they're definitely taking liberty with a lot of historical details. So for me anyway, the trailer got really, really interesting towards the end. That's when I think this is really going to be a very powerful film. Because I'm hoping that, yes, the buildup of the bomb is very intriguing, but I'm hoping that's going to be about a third to a half of the film, but half or more than half of the film will be the aftermath when... Oppenheimer start to have doubts about what he did. And there's a really critical line of dialogue where he says that this will bring peace to mankind. Not to Americans, not to the Allies, not just to the Russians and British and Americans, but to mankind. So a lot of idealism in his work. And again, we can't avoid completely the politics. Again, I'm concentrating on the aesthetics, but I guess you could fairly call him a leftist. So how he went from being a man of science and, quote, on the left, and the belief in rationality and again the reason he did it is that Roosevelt was alive there was a lot of factors going on and he expected that Roosevelt would still be alive when the bomb was built and used but then Truman came into power so I think there's a lot of factors going on in his head and the doubts are not rising yet when they're building it but there is that critical line he says and then when somebody says well, what about a bigger bomb what will happen then and you can definitely see the music changes, they go to black and white. That, I thought, was very, very powerful. So I'm hoping we're going to do the aftermath, and that'll be the real... But I will warn people, if you've seen The Dark Knight, and for the two people who have not seen The Dark Knight, this will constitute a minor spoiler, but if you know The Dark Knight, more and more when you think about it, it's not really a Batman film or even a Joker film. The film is about Two-Face. And Nolan has pulled this trick before where... Yeah, the title is Oppenheimer, but it may not really be about Oppenheimer. I'm confident we are getting an Oppenheimer film, but it could be Emily Blunt. Because she is very prominent. They've been really saving her. They haven't used her a lot in the trailers, so she's very prominent. Matt Damon is prominent, and we get RDJ at the end. So again, with Nolan, you can never tell. So I'm hoping it will be focused on Oppenheimer. I'm hoping that we're going to do the aftermath, because there are so many figures. And I looked at the IMDb, and we're going to have Feynman. We have a cameo from Albert Einstein, and Truman is definitely going to be a part of this. But there are so many figures from Hitler, Stalin, so many prominent scientists. Yeah, Einstein, of course, but there are just so many figures to go through. So 
This could be a treasure trove. I'm just hoping we're going to get the right balance. And I hope it's not just a tease. I hope Einstein just shows up for more than just one cameo, but that's me. So I'm hoping this is good, definitely going to be a great film, but I'm hoping we're going to concentrate on the aftermath, which I think is a little bit more intriguing than the actual construction of the bomb. But that's me. So very exciting stuff, but I did think the trailer was really most powerful towards the end. But that's me.